for the fifth longest streak in the NFL. Uh, new addition, LeGarrette Blunt carried the workload with 78 yards and two touchdowns as the AFC Best Patriots crushed the Lions yesterday. Patriots routed a division leader for the third straight week following wins over Denver and the Colts. They visit Green Bay next Sunday, which leads the NFC North now. Uh, at 9-2, and two, do you ever see the Pats losing a game, Stephen A.? Um, I definitely think it's possible. I don't think that they're going to run the table. As a matter of fact, they may lose this week at Lambeau Field. The Green Bay Packers are fully aware of the fact that the New England Patriots have beaten 14 sh straight opponents from the NFC North and are not trying to be victim number 15. They are at Lambeau Field. They're on the road. They're going to have noise and hostile confines to deal with. Um, I'm not going to make my prediction just yet, but I would lean towards picking the Packers to beat the Patriots this coming, this coming weekend. Uh, what I will say, however, is that uh, they they are on pace to do exactly what I anticipated they would do. Uh, I didn't know whether they would get the number one or the number two seed, but I had paid, basically predicted that they'd go to the Super Bowl even if they had to play another AFC championship game in Denver. And I'm absolutely sticking to that. The way it's looking right now, the road to the Super Bowl will have to go through Foxborough. And I think if that happens, it's a problem. The only potential hiccup that I see for the New England Patriots, and I know we're not talking about the postseason, but I just want to throw this out there, Skip, is the Kansas City Chiefs. If New England had to go back to Kansas City to play, I think that would be incredibly tough. They're probably not going to have to do that. Kansas City would probably have to come to Foxborough if indeed they made the playoffs and they would have faced the Patriots. And if that happens, they're going to get ramrodded. But if New England had to go to Kansas City, I think that would be a different ball game. But outside of that, outside of uh, this game against Green Bay, San Diego's a potential loss, but I don't see it. In the end, I think that New England ultimately would probably lose about one more game. And if I had to believe that they were going to lose one more game, Skip, it would be against Green Bay. By the way, to your Chiefs point, I would love right now to see New England go back to Kansas City in the playoffs. Because do you remember 41-14 to 14 on Monday Night Football? That's why, that's why I said it. Okay, right now. This, this Patriots team is playing at such a higher level than they were on that debacle of a night at Arrowhead. I think they, they couldn't wait to get to Arrowhead and wreak revenge on Kansas City right now because I believe they would win that game. But I'm going to go you one better. I'm just going out on the limb right away. I, I said it last week. I'm going to say it again. The New England Patriots will win this coming Sunday at Lambeau Field. Aaron Rodgers will be the second best quarterback on the field next Sunday at Lambeau Field. I'm saying it because it's the truth. Did you see what Tom Brady did yesterday to Detroit's number one ranked defense? Let's go back for three weeks against Denver. The Patriots said, eh, I think we better throw it against Denver. And Tom Brady threw the heck out of it and threw it better than Peyton Manning did. Then at Indy, Sunday night, they said, you know what? We ran wild on them in the playoff game at Foxborough. Let's do it again. Uh, Indy defense, meet Jonas. Boom, 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 boom. And you know the rest of the story. Then yesterday, against the number one ranked run defense in Detroit, with Ndamukong Sue saying that Tom Brady is just a quote unquote normal quarterback, he did abnormal things to Detroit's pass defense. He threw the ball 53 times. He completed 38. It's like one if by land, two if by Brady. Here he came, and he just picked them to pieces yesterday. This was Detroit's number one ranked defense. I believe he will do the same thing to Green Bay's defense, and I know you want to wait on the prediction, so you know where I'm going. I won't get specific about it, but I think it will be too much Tom Brady next Sunday, late afternoon, at Lambeau Field. Weather or no weather, I don't think it's going to matter. I, Go ahead. Well, you know, I'm not taking, any, you know, I'm not taking anything away from New England because I love what I'm seeing, and they're making me look good in terms of my, pre, uh, my preseason predictions. But I got to tell you, I, I'm incredibly uh, disappointed in Detroit. I'm letting you know right now, I'm officially jumping off that oh. wagon. I've lost all, all faith right. <laughs> in the Detroit Lions. Yeah, I lost all faith in them. First of all, Bush, Reggie Bush didn't play, and I understand that. Skip. In all seriousness, Megatron ain't the same. No. Nope. Something's up. 
something's up. Four catches, 58 yards yesterday. Doesn't seem to be creating any kind of separation. Doesn't seem to be himself. Um, and, and Matthew Stafford and those boys seemed ill-equipped to learn what to do about it. We all know that Jim Caldwell can coach. He brings stability to a franchise. He certainly knows what he's doing. It appears to be anywhere on the defensive side of the ball. Even though Detroit didn't have much of an answer for New England, it didn't help that their offense has been nothing but a question mark over the last two to three weeks. They haven't scored a touchdown in two games. Yep. Uh, the end field goal, you know, they've just been, you know, just kicking field goals. Um, you know, obviously we look at Tate, the combination of Golden Tate and Megatron was supposed to do some damage. Uh, Reggie Bush wasn't there yesterday, but Megatron, I'm just telling you, based on what I'm seeing, I'm not impressed. And, and, and listen, we can talk about him because we know what he brings to the table when he's healthy. And maybe, indeed, he's not healthy, Skip Bayless. But this conversation about Megatron being the best receiver in football, it needs to stop right now. Yep, I'm he doesn't, with you on that. We, 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 don't, we don't need to be talking about that anymore until we see Megatron look like Megatron, which we have not seen. It's just that simple. So, to me, I think that the New England Patriots will be facing an entirely different challenge in Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson and Randall Cobb and those boys in Green Bay. And we'll see what happens then. But I, I can almost promise you anything will be better than what you saw Detroit give yesterday. They don't have the horses. They don't have depth on the offensive side of the ball, regardless of what happened to them defensively yesterday. I think that's an aberration. They were going up against Tom Brady, and you had an offense that could, couldn't stay on the field and couldn't give you any kind of production. You were meant to me. Wait, they, they were waiting for you. Detroit doesn't have what it needs offensively. You were right. Green Bay, NFC North. I can't see Detroit holding on to anything. One quick thought on Matthew Stafford. You gave him Golden Tate. And by the way, the Patriots thought so much of Golden Tate, they mostly put him on Revis Island yesterday. To your point mm -hmm. about Megatron, yeah. all of a sudden they put Brandon Browner with some safety help over the top on Megatron because they didn't fear him as much as they w used to fear Megatron, that people used to fear him. Yesterday it was about Golden Tate. Revis has got to take away Golden Tate. He mostly did. But how much of that is on a quarterback whose QBR scale is 0 to 100 yesterday was 19. He completed 18 of 46. Think about that. 18 of 46 passes. That's a lot of incompletions. So to me, it starts and ends with a quarterback. I know he didn't well, have Reggie Bush, but he had two really good receivers. I know they dropped some balls. The young tight end dropped balls. But still, I, I just don't know if he's good enough. I'm not sure he's well, accurate I don't know. enough I, consistently. I, I don't know he's good enough. I've got some questions about his accuracy. I know he's got an arm. I know he's talented. But in big-time matchups, I look for Matthew Stafford, and I don't find him. Mm -hmm. I love what he did to win, you know, to, to, to win the game um, in the waning moments the week before. But I think that we have to look at Megatron Skip because we've heard stuff about his thighs, about his knees, about his ankles. We've been hearing this stuff. And if you watch ever since he's come back, you know, you've got somebody playing him deep, and then you've got a safety plan under and I think that because of that I mean if you if you're sorry over the top rather and I think when you have that I think Megatron I, I, I'm gonna say this I, I mean I'm just going by the eye test I'm not sure you know I don't cover the team or anything like that but I think it's safe to say Skip he doesn't appear to be himself he yep. almost appears to be timid like as if he's scared to get hit. Yep. And that tells me that he's not 100% healthy. And if I can see that, and I know you can see that, you know what the opponents see. And I think that's <clears throat> what we're seeing here. I think that's what we're seeing here with Megatron. Yep, I agree. So to answer Kerry's original question, will the Patriots lose again? I believe they will win at Green Bay. It will be tough, but I think they can win and will win at San Diego. The Dolphins won't be any pushover as we saw yesterday at Denver, but I still think they'll beat them at home. And the yep. one game that I could see New England losing at the Jets. Wow. Interesting. You, you know what Rex does? Rex often has number 12's number. Sure. Like no other defensive coordinator in football has had Tom Brady's number, Rex does. That will be the Jets' Super Bowl. So I could see them losing that game and then finishing up with a home win against the Bills. but. If they lose just one more game, that would that'd be 13 and 3. We move on and talk about a quarter.